Hi everyone, back with another review video. This time's review is about this Artis 13.3 Pro tablet which the XP Pen company has sent me. The tablet comes with a screen and it's the first time for me to try such a type. So I'll be telling you about my experience in details while sharing my honest opinion about it. As usual, let's first start with unboxing. So we have this message in different languages that says to remove this protective cover from the screen of the tablet. And we also have this bunny giving us the contact information of the company, including their office hours. But I'm not sure which time zone is that. So let's take out the tablet and see what's beneath it. There is this stand where you can place the tablet and it would be tilted at a 60 degrees angle towards you. Over here we have a piece of cloth that's similar to those that come with the glasses. It's used to clean the screen of the tablet. This paper guides you toward the link where the tablet driver can be downloaded. And this is the warranty card. And this is a cute message that thanks you for choosing the XP Pen company. On the back side, it has their contact information and emails for support in different languages, which is a very considerate thing as usual from XP Pen. Over here we have this artist to glove which you can wear while drawing to protect the screen from smudging. And last but not least, the user manual. It has the steps on how to connect and set up the tablet in multiple languages as well. Moving on to this other box, here we have the cables to connect the tablet to get it working. This white cable looks like it's for a Mac. As for the other two, one is for elongating a USB cable and the other is for connecting the tablet. I'll talk more about these later. This cylindric container has the tablet pen. It's a very sleek and light pen that's easy to hold. It's good to mention that this pen does not need a battery to work. The cover of the cylindric container can be used as a stand for the pen. And on the other side here we have the replacement nips. Lastly, we have the electric plug that comes with different adapters, which is a splendid thing considering how difficult it can be sometimes to find the right socket for your plug. So we have the basic plug here and you can attach to it any of those adapters that will suit your needs. Before I move on to connecting the tablet, I'll go ahead and remove the protective screen cover. The screen looks so smooth and I'm very excited to try it. Now going back to the cables, this side of the cable is connected to the tablet and this is an HDMI cable that should be connected to the computer. And finally, we have two USB cables to connect. One is for having the computer recognize the tablet as a connected device and the other is for power connection. The interesting thing about this tablet is that it can be connected to electricity by two ways. You either connect the USB to the computer directly or you connect it to the plug and insert it into the socket. And as I mentioned previously, this cable is an elongator for a USB connection. So if you're running short on length, you can use this cable to smoothly connect your tablet to the computer. Now let's move on to try the tablet. The first thing I'll do is installing the tablet driver. I'll go ahead to download the driver for the Artis 13.3 Pro from the official XP Pen website. Installing the driver is the simplest task ever. However, I made sure to uninstall my Wacom tablet driver first to avoid any kind of clashes. Next, I connected the tablet to the computer using the cables I showed you earlier. Since this tablet comes with a screen, it is essential to adjust the settings so you can use it properly. You might already know this information if you are a multiple screens user, but for me, it was my first time and I took some time to figure it out so I'll give you the information in a nutshell. Once you have your tablet connected, head over to the display settings. You will see two screens, one and two. Set your screen settings to extended display and arrange the screens in the same order that they are on your desk. For example, screen number one is my monitor, so it will be on top. And screen two is the tablet which is the closest to me. So I set one on top of two. And now it will be like I have one big screen split into two. So if I move the cursor down the monitor, it will come up on the top of my tablet as you can see here. Now I want my drawing software to be on the tablet screen. So I'll restore downsize window and drag it down towards the tablet screen. And now I can maximize the window and draw on the tablet. I have done a test trial first and sketched this sleepy Serena. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record that. But I'll be showing you the coloring process while I'll talk about my opinion of this tablet. The most interesting feature about the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro is its portability. Despite being a screen tablet, it has a lightweight, 
comes with a portable stand and can be powered through USB. This makes it quite portable. It means that you can even use it outdoors because you can power it directly through your laptop. Its small size and lightweight also allow it to be easily carried in a bag or a backpack. So drawing anywhere has been made possible. I found drawing directly on this tablet quite pleasant. The screen is smooth and the pen slides nicely on it. And the colors of the screen are just amazing. I found them to be brighter and more vivid than the colors of my monitor. You know how when you transfer the artwork to your phone, the colors look slightly different? The colors of the tablet screen look very similar to those of the smartphones. This is not to say that my current monitor is bad, but as an artist, the more precise the colors on the screen, the better is the outcome. So this is definitely a plus. I did face some minor downsides however. Firstly, the stand that holds the tablet fell more than once while I was drawing. This could be because the surface of my desk is smooth, so I guess it could be fixed by placing a non-slip cloth beneath it. The other downside is that the screen is not that big, it's only 13.3 inches in diameter, while I'm so used to my 24 inch monitor. I kept the same screen resolution of my monitor on the tablet, which is why everything looks so small. But this is also that I could still have that big drawing space that I'm used to. However, I could definitely change the resolution so that the user interface gets bigger, but that would reduce my drawing space. The last problem I face is a silly one, but as you may already know, I don't use the tablet express keys at all, and I'm completely dependent on my keyboard. This might work with a screenless tablet, however, with this tablet, it was really hard to integrate using the keyboard at the same time that I'm drawing, so I had to force myself to use the express keys. I think it's a matter of practice. The more you use them, the quicker and more convenient it will get. I mean, they are there for a purpose, so if I am to switch to a tablet with a screen like this one, I definitely have to get used to them. Overall, those downsides that I mentioned are totally minor stuff. And actually, besides the stand problem, those downsides are just because of my lack of experience with this kind of tablets. Of course, this tablet is amazing and looks flawless, but I mention them because I always like to tell you guys about my experience honestly. However, if I could change two things about it, I would choose a bigger screen size, and I would love to have more degrees that can be adjusted in the stand. As for the price, this tablet is now sold for about $300. I honestly have limited information about tablets with screens, however, despite having limited info, I can tell you that this price is quite affordable for a tablet of such high quality and portability as this one. I'll leave the comparisons to you, but you'll definitely find a huge gap between its price and the price of other mainstream companies. To sum up, I love this tablet. I think it just needs to be given some time to practice so that it can be used quickly and efficiently. And I'll definitely do that once my schedule lights up. I love its light pen, the smooth screen surface, and the portability. I want to mention that there are other amazing features in this tablet that I haven't tried because I don't use them, like the pen tilt function. This tablet supports 60 degrees pen tilt that comes with some drawing softwares. I'd definitely love to try this feature sometime. This leads me to conclude my review. I hope you found it as interesting as I did. If you have any questions I did not answer in this video, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.